hello and good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to Harmony Portal Tarot. Before we get into this pick a card reading, I just wanted to let you guys know I have a Patreon with lots of exclusive content over there. It is linked in the description below and also a live stream channel where I go live doing collective readings twice a week. Sometimes I do a free one card poll for everybody who is there about the first 20 minutes or so. I go live Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Mountain Time and Fridays at 11 a.m. Mountain Time to get in on some of that fun action. Channel linked in the description below. But for this exciting pick a card reading, we are going to be figuring out what is next for you. What news is coming in for you? Just I'm seeing all sorts of fresh, beautiful, budding new energy coming in. Of course, I am filming this the day before the lunar eclipse on uh, November 9th, almost said October. But yeah, the, we had the solar eclipse on October 25th. We're closing out that eclipse season with this November 8th eclipse. And you're actually going to be, fun fact, viewing this on the day of the eclipse because I'm filming it the day before. So today is not the best day to try to manifest something, but you guys are working towards something over the next six months. This is very exciting. So we're gonna see what's next for you. So if you are new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to center your energy and focus in on pile number one with the Labradorite Owl holding the skull, pile number two with the Pyrite, and pile number three with the Black Tourmaline. And it's also got a little bit of Pyrite on there as well. And if more than one pile calls out to you, there just may be multiple things that are coming for you next, coming toward you energetically, good news coming in. But once you have selected your pile or piles, you can go ahead and check the description box below for timestamps, and I also pin them as the top comment. But please remember, these are general readings, so only take the information that resonates with you, your life, your situation, and just go ahead and scoot the rest of that away from you. Without delaying any further, I'm going to give you a moment to meditate on these cards, and I will see you over at your reading. Hello there, Pile One! You guys selected this super cool... I've been using this in the weekly readings this week, so if you're watching at the time of my posting, you get to enjoy him all week long. I love this. It's a Labradorite Owl carved with a skull in the middle. And I'm really seeing wisdom as a result of transformation after a rebirth or a death energy. The death of one thing brought the wisdom and knowledge for you to begin something new. And why not just go ahead and start by kicking it off with the magician of all cards. I mean, look at you guys go. You guys are manifesting a reality that's more in alignment with what you've always wanted because you guys have done a lot of healing, a lot of growing, a lot of nurturing seeds that maybe you have yet to plant, but others of you that have planted seeds of the past, you're gonna start to see fruition. It's very nine of pentacles energy. The fruition of some of these seeds coming for you, coming up next. So let's see what else group one needs to know about what is coming next. Two cards, please, spirit. What is coming next? Any good news? Any Anything cool happening? What do they need to know? And we have here the Apprentice of Wands or the Page of Wands. We're not cutting that off, okay. And my apologies, it looks very crooked in front of me, but very straight up on the camera, so bear with me. And Ten of Pentacles! What was I saying about you guys manifesting? For some of you, this is financial abundance or a new home, being able to, you know, really feel at home in your home, making upgrades around the home, upgrades in the family, maybe you're adding a family member, or just improving the quality of your family time in your home. Lots of good things are next for you coming up. You are feeling so inspired to start something new. And with this combination, I really am seeing a new home for someone. And this to me feels like over the next six months, there's there's some news on a new home or you're finally able to be in a financial position to get a new home or to move, whatever that looks like for you. But you are at the very least feeling inspired to shake up the energy around your home. And of course, our home on this planet, every single place we go, is our human vessel, our human body. So you guys might be inspired to really make those significant health changes to your life that are really going to increase and enhance your life force energy and really allow you to manifest the life that you are ready and waiting for. And it is ready and waiting for you. So this is very exciting already. Let's see what else Spirit has for this wonderful group watching. Now, group one... 
Ooh, we have justice. And of course, I love to see it. Justice. Justice is being served. Balancing of scales, the balancing of energy, all that hard work you've put in and effort from the past, you're going to see it come to fruition very soon. And remember, I was tuning into that nine of pentacles energy before we dealt these out. And you just skipped a step and went right for the 10. You guys aren't settling. That's what I'm seeing with this. You aren't settling. But someone, <laughs> it's funny, I'm saying you're not settling. And sometimes you settle out of court. We've got the justice here. So some of you are not taking, you're not settling for this offer that someone has given you. You are holding out and waiting for a higher number. But others of you are settling the case, meaning you're not settling for less, but you're settling the case and you're finally getting paid out what's due. And it might be quite a handsome amount of money, but that might just be for one person watching this. This is well-earned money though. This is not just frivolously given to you. Really, the blood, sweat, and tears of whatever it is you've gone through. For some of you, that might be a car accident. I'm seeing maybe um, you're suing a county or a state for wrongdoing, malfeasance, neglect, abuse, harassment. Again, that might be for just one person watching this. What else? What other things are next for group one? Forgiveness. Wow, and this seems almost like the same figure. It's like the, the shorter dress here, but the same long red hair. So to me, this is you forgiving yourself, forgiving others, forgiving whatever the situation that you are in. Energetically speaking, forgiving is really, you know, setting yourself free from someone or something that has had a bind on you or a spell on you or a hold on you for some of you, it uh, seems like a very long time. You're letting that go. You are moving on. It doesn't mean you're forgetting what happened or what someone did or what someone said. You are just deciding that instead of dwelling on it any longer, you're letting it go and moving forward. This is forward momentum here, you guys. Yay! All right, what else does group one need to know about what's next? What's coming next for them? We have stargazers set your sights higher. And yes! You're not settling, remember? You're setting your sights higher for that 10 of pentacles. Why settle for the nine of pentacles I was talking about earlier when you could have the 10? You have that magician to be able to set your sights higher and not only set those sights higher, but actually take action to make that happen. So you guys are really, you're not settling. You are stepping into this magician energy and being able to manifest a life that feels so much more in alignment, like I said at the beginning, so much more in alignment with what you want to experience on this planet. And then we have the spirit fox. Look at this little guy. Trust your talents in changing times. So trusting your talents in these changing times, because things are changing. And when you can forgive and get that justice that is, you know, being served up hot, either through karma or the justice system or whatever that looks like to you, you are going to be able to trust your talents and allow more of your beautiful spiritual gifts, your, you know, creative talents to emerge during this time because you're really tuned into that man magician manifestation energy. All right, we already have a spirit fox, but let's also go to the spirit animal deck and see if there are any other animal totems working with you at this time. We have the owl and the fox already out to play for you guys. Let's see if there's any other. Okay, we have the bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. And every time I pull this card, um, I hear that Do Madonna song, Like a Prayer. The very first lyric you know, the very first line of that song is, life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. I hear you call my name and it feels like home. If I'm, if I'm getting that right, I think I'm remembering that right. So you guys are coming home to yourself. Life is a mystery, yes, but you have that manifestation number of the magician, you know, the sideways infinity symbol of the magician as the eight on this bobcat spirit. So bobcats, owls, foxes are really working with you. The number eight, this is about manifestation, taking action, life purpose, uh, forward momentum, financial abundance. I mean, eight is the name of the game with the number. I would, if I had to ascribe any number to you before we drew this, I would have said the number eight. <laughs> you might even be a life path eight or soul urge eight or personality number eight, something like this. But you guys are meant to manifest whether that is physical, material, items, a home, um, a relationship, just spiritual progress and happiness, abundance, whatever that looks like for you. And it could be all of the above, you guys. You don't have to settle for just one thing. Take it all. 
because the more you can immerse yourself in this joy and happiness and abundance, the more you have to share with others. So that is what's next for you. Pile number one, this is exciting. You will have to let me know. Sound off in the comments below if you are excited. Put an owl emoji if you are here to claim this message and reap the abundance that is coming forward for you at this time. I am so excited for you guys. Please feel free to let me know below what you thought, any stories you want to share, if it resonated. I always love to hear from you guys. And I wanted to say thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, shares, subscribes, and the donations. I haven't received any over here yet on Harmony Portal Tarot, and we are no longer monetized because I did move from the Dun Creative. So every tiny little bit helps keep this channel going, and I appreciate you guys so much. Your donations are never, ever expected, but always greatly appreciated. And I love you guys, and I hope to see you next time here on Harmony Portal Tarot. All right, you guys, bye. Hello, group two. Those of you who selected this pyrite, we're going to get into your message. What is next for you? What good news is coming in? Just anything you need to know about the steps ahead. You have the Four of Vessels or the Four of Cups. So it's very interesting that we have three desolate looking plants, probably completely dead, to be honest. And we have the fourth cup as this watering can, that life force, watering, nurturing energy that could quite possibly bring these plants back from the dead. Yes, of course, these stalks that are hanging up, these, these twigs, would probably have to be cleared away. But sometimes, just some way, some way, shape, or form, there might still be life in the seed or the bulb of what this plant has grown from. And sometimes if the roots are still there or the, you know, the life force energy is still there, you can start watering this and start to see life come back. That happened to me once with a plant, a Chinese evergreen. My son, actually, when he was, my oldest son, when he was very little, he kept picking at this plant. He was just a baby, like a one to, one to two year old kid. So he just kept picking at this plant to the point where it literally died. And that wasn't even the first time I brought it back to life. Um, the first time was after our house fire in 1995. I actually put this plant out in the sandbox instead of throwing it in the big dumpster with everything else. And I just kept watering it, um, you know, every week or so. And lo and behold, the bulb of that Chinese evergreen just decided to sprout forth new life. Sadly, I no longer have that plant because um, the little piece that I had saved that my son broke off and then the rest of the plant was completely decimated by him. Um, it, it didn't make it. <laughs> it was doing real well with a nice root system built up and then I left it in water too long and the roots rotted. So, ah! <laughs> so, but I see this, this analogy that I'm giving you guys as an opportunity not to wait too long on something. If you see those roots have grown and it's ready to get back in the dirt, kind of that propagation example I just gave about the Chinese evergreen, the one that I had in the water, I didn't, you don't want to leave it too long. You don't want to leave this idea to sit too long because either it will stagnate and rot or it will move on to someone else. There's an opportunity being presented to you that you do not see yet. You can't see because you're looking out this way. It's like you are these plants looking out toward the, the horizon here, the sunset or the sun, <laughs> the moon, whichever one that is. It looks like a sun. You're looking out this way. You do not see that that life force energy for whatever idea you have is right there. And you, not someone else, but you are going to be the one to pick up the watering can and start nurturing and watering yourself. Let's get some additional guidance. So that, that's what's next, is you're going to water your own garden to make it thrive yet again. And if you feel like, well, again, my garden has never thrived, well, then it'll be the first time for those of you that feel that way. But for most of you, you can point back to a time in life where you really felt you were thriving and succeeding and growing and learning and glowing and all those What's next? The devil. Oh, yeah. But see, you guys might be in your heads just thinking, well, you know, because in the traditional Rider Waite depiction of this card, the person is kind of, they may see that cup that Spirit's offering them, but they're kind of ignoring it. Like, yeah, good things never happen to me, so why bother? But you're cutting that energy out. You're shedding that energy like a skin of a snake. You're shedding that energy. But this is going to be a mindset shift that you guys are going through. That's what's next, is you're going through a mindset shift that is actually going to put you in alignment with your abundance and with your, your inner willpower, your sovereignty, your freedom to create the life you want. You're cutting out the toxicity and the things that just aren't serving you. Um, I've seen, for some random reason, like someone who's trying to stuff themselves in a shoe that just does not fit. And then I just heard the shoe is on the other foot. So... 
that that's very weird because those two don't even go together but <laughs> that, when spirit gives me things sometimes I have to like decode and reconstruct and deconstruct and see what happens but yeah I'm seeing with you deciding okay I don't fit in this shoe yet okay and then with the shoe on the other foot it's like part of you has like one foot in the new timeline where you are more sovereign and feeling like you can accomplish what you want if you just take off that old mask, that old skin, that old shoe that doesn't fit anymore, the new shoe is on the other foot, the one that does fit. Okay, there. I put it together. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> what else is next? Six of Pentacles, Six of Coins, yes! Rights are being wronged. The balance is returning. People are stepping up to help you or aligning in your life for the right reasons, at the right place, at the right time. For the right reasons. I think I have to stress that for the right reasons. What are you doing? And are you doing it for the right reasons? What are other people in your life doing? And are they doing it for the right reasons? Very interesting. Spirit is really speaking in riddles for me with you guys. And I think just energetically speaking, your guides, because your guides come in during these readings as well, your guides might confuse you sometimes. It's like they give you all these you know, ideas or signs, but you're really not quite sure how to interpret them. But then when the time is right, you're like, oh, this must be what that means. So it's almost like, yeah, t the timing might not quite be yet for something, but it's about there. And when it's there, there's a sweet spot of time before you wait too long or jump too early to get it just right. That's what's next for you is you're gonna, you're gonna know when to take this leap of faith or this new start, this new beginning, overcoming the old because we a lot of times will judge our experience and our, you know, present moment on our past experience. Well, last time I touched that burner that was hot, I got burned. So I'm not going to do that again. But sometimes we are being asked to see things a different way. Uh, obviously, that example is very specific. And yeah, I don't advise anyone touching a burner and thinking they're not going to get burned. But this just might be with certain relationships or people. And what's next is you're realizing, yeah, maybe there are certain people you cut out and then you're seeing someone who has a very similar personality to someone from your past, but they are actually a completely different person and they're not going to burn you the way this other person did. All right, so trusting your own intuition on that will be key here. Let's get some additional guidance. What is coming in? What's next for group two? Travel. Oh, that's exciting. All right, what else? Nope, they're telling me to keep going. <laughs> and here it is. Okay. And passion. Okay. I love to see it. Yeah. And I think some of you, again, look at all this fire energy. We're just talking about getting burned. Maybe last time. Okay. They're really, they're really telling a story now. Last time you really put yourself out there, it wasn't well received or it wasn't received the way you hoped or thought it would be. And you felt like you got burned or like you were left, you know, just not experiencing what you wanted out of a relationship, a situation, um, sharing your creative passions with someone and then they laughed at it or just like, oh, okay. Not a, not a very great response. But this is saying don't allow one person or one time frame or one era of your life's energy to impede on this next big breakthrough because you guys really do want to put yourselves out there, literally getting out there, literally traveling. Um, you know, and she is pregnant here. So it's like you guys are wanting to give birth to something you are so passionate about. For some of you, that might be a child. And I am reading this energy as maybe there were three miscarriages. I myself have had three miscarriages, so I, I can completely empathize with, with you if that is your energy. But I'm hearing also third time's a charm for someone. It doesn't have to be the pregnancy example. But whatever it is you're watering, the third time around with this thing or this idea or this energy or starting over might be the charm for you. So if you've already done something twice or tried to attempt something twice and now you're still like, oh, I'm going to get burned if I try a third time. No, third time is a charm for you. We got three and three. The third time is the charm. And it's very funny because I actually had my charms out and I kept emphasizing it. So I'm going to pull you guys a charm. I did not do this for group one. And we have here a winged pegasus. You're taking flight, you guys, or you're being asked to trust yourselves enough to take flight. And it's very interesting. She almost has her arms out like wings as well. 
this, this beautiful Pegasus has taken that leap of faith and has the wings. It's growing the wings on the way. It, it may not be completely sure where it's going or what it's doing, but it has an idea. It has a beautiful idea. You have a beautiful idea. So the next part of your path, the next thing you can be aware of is that you're getting an idea that you can then start to take action on, which is so powerful. All right, what is next for group two? What else do they need to know? This, there's two. I'm like, those ones definitely want to come out. Okay. So we have here, great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences and not just spiritual experiences. This is just past energy. Things you've been through in the past, you've learned very valuable lessons from maybe the first two times or a few times that something hasn't worked out or, you know, well, I can't put myself out there again because I'll get burned, but no. It's the time to release that burden of that devil energy of feeling you're not good enough or it's going to be the same thing all over again. You're releasing that. And again, <laughs> lately, I don't like to use the word release because re means again, lease means sign a contract on something. If we're trying to let go of something, we don't want to sign another contract on it. So just, I'm nixing that word. It's, it's, a, and it's a habit that's dying very hard, but I'm trying every time I say it. It's like a little alarm goes off in my awareness that no, don't say that. Say something different. <laughs> Letting go, transmuting. Um, allowing to flow, those are all better words, but you are yourself a great teacher and the passion you have for healing yourself, healing the planet, creativity, your creative expression, a relationship, whatever it is you are passionate about. Maybe it is travel for some of you. Whatever you're passionate about, you're bringing this to life. You're giving birth to this beautiful energy. And travel might be just the ticket for those that feel stuck and stagnant and just blah about things. Because when you can get out of your regular comfort zone of your home, the four walls you stare at every day, get out there and experience something else. You are very present in the moment because you're everything's new and alive and different and you're just looking here, you're looking there, you're smelling the smells and feeling the, the textures and tasting the tastes of the new restaurants. And, you know, it's just one of the best things you can do to recharge your you know, passion for life is to travel somewhere, specifically traveling somewhere you've never been for you guys. So that might be what's next for you is to plan a trip to somewhere you've never been. It could even be somewhere you've always wanted to go, but never actually went. All right, let's see. We also have elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Yes, you're being asked to travel outside that generational ancestral comfort zone of these toxic patterns, toxic cycles, this devil energy. You know, you're you're shedding the skin of the past. It doesn't mean you can't take the wisdom. Because remember we talked earlier about you taking the wisdom from the experience you've had with you and allowing the rest to fall away. That's so beautiful. And you might even have a lot of ancestral guides and teachers around you at this time. I'm seeing also Archangel Metatron. I'm seeing a, a grandfatherly, great, 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 very old, ancient elder in your ancestral line, you know, that is really working with you. And even some feminine energies, I'm seeing a lot of like muse energy, really creative, inspirational energy around you at this time as well. All right, what else? Let's see what spirit animal um, is gonna come through for you guys. We already have a Pegasus. You can look up spiritual meaning of a Pegasus or spirit guidance or spirit uh, animal totem or animal medicine of a Pegasus. But let's see an additional this one wants to come out. Ooh, a koi fish spirit. There is always enough. And look, this might lead you to believe, and you might have been operating under the guise that, well, it's dead, it's gone, it's whatever. It'll never happen for me. It'll just, you know, woe is me. Which we can all get into that victim mentality of the devil. We all can. I'm not trying to call you guys out like, oh, how dare you? No, we've all been there. But, you know, we've learned this from ancestral patterns, lack mentality, struggle energy, um, having to work, you know, break your back and, you know, work your fingers to the bone to make it in life and you're still barely scraping by. You guys are closing out that generational, I almost want to call it a generational curse. You're closing out that. But for all the others of you, that just feels like a cycle that, you know, your parents went through, your grandparents, great-grandparents, great, great, great. But you're closing that out because you have the 36 here with the koi fish spirit. The number 36 adds up to nine is closing out the cycle because you know and you're coming into this knowledge of there is always enough. I mean, you got a freaking Pegasus here, you guys. <laughs> Looking up the Pegasus spirit animal and the koi fish spirit animal can really paint a nice picture for you guys on what to expect. And also the dove. 
We've got a beautiful dove here. We've got a couple lizards, salamander, turtles, snakes. There's a lot of snake energy here. Looking up any of these spirit animals you're called to look up can be some additional homework for you guys. But I hope this resonated for you. Wonderful group too. Please feel free to let me know below what you thought. Any stories you want to share. I always love to hear from you guys. And you just liking the video or engaging on it by commenting, sharing it to someone you think can benefit from it, subscribing. Um, really does help me in the algorithm. I'm starting all over fresh again over here, brand new. And I just appreciate you guys so much. And I wanted to say special thanks to those who send donations. I haven't received any here yet on the new channel because I branched off of my old, uh, the Dunn Creative channel. But those that sent the donations over there, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Donations are never ever expected, but they are literally the only thing keeping this channel going because I'm not monetized right now. So I appreciate it so much, but I don't expect it. So thank you those. Um, PayPal is linked below if you, if you feel so inclined, but you don't have to. But if you appreciated the energy exchange, I just want you to know I appreciate you as well. And I want to hopefully see you next time. So thanks again so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you group two right here back at Harmony Portal Tarot. All right, you guys, bye. Hello, group three, you brave and wonderful souls who selected the black tourmaline with dun, 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 the three of swords. <laughs> but look, there's a butterfly here. There's transformation. So usually, <laughs> and I'm seeing a theme. I saw a theme on my old channel, The Dun Creative. I'm seeing a very similar theme play out here on pile three on Harmony Portal Tarot where my group threes, you guys are just a little something extra, a little something special. Not to say my other piles aren't special as well. And many of you group threes do watch all three piles, which is really cool. But I wanna get into this for you. What is next? What is coming? What news is coming in? So yes, you guys have been going through it lately and may continue to go through it for a minute. But because you were so brave to face this. <laughs> I mean, black tourmaline is a beautiful stone. It is a stone of protection. It is a stone of grounding. It is a stone of protecting you from EMF frequencies and negative energies and vibrations. So you guys have had, you know, your dukes up, metaphorically speaking, energetically speaking, poised and ready to fight anything that comes your way because you've been triggered. You've, you've been through it. If that is not your current or more recent energy, then this just may not be your pile. Let's deal a couple more tarot cards just to see what's next. And then you can determine, is this my pile? Is this not my pile? Because I have a feeling those that know tarot enough to see, even though the words were covered, there's three swords there. Not most people <laughs> that I know are going to purposely pick that three of swords. Of course, I would just because I'm here. I'm like a masochist for healing and <laughs> um, dark nights of the soul. I don't know. I, I love healing, but I, I you know. I'm here for it. And you guys just might be like, well, let's bring it on. Let's see what happens. So what is next for group three? Group three with the three of swords. What is next? I have a feeling things are going to take a turn for the much, much better. Because when you're watching this, if you're watching the day I'm posting, there is a lunar eclipse, total blood moon lunar eclipse coming in hot today, right now. But if you're watching later, you're still tuning into this eclipse energy, this transformational energy. Let's see what's ahead. Seven of Cups, Seven of Vessels, and at the heart of this card, it is always a message of what? For those in the back, hope. There is hope. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Not all hope is gone. There are new options. There's healing available. There's abundance. There's spiritual connection. There's clearer sight, clarity coming in. There's a deeper connection to spirit and nature. Keys to unlocking your, your next happiness and being able to know what is meant for you and what is not. That is, I'm channeling all that coming in from this Seven of Cups. So you don't have to settle. We got this energy, I want to say it was group one, not having to settle for anything less. So I'm, I'm sensing some of you also selected pile one. So hello, if you're here from pile one. Um, yes, absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely Okay, that was bad and off key. I'm, I apologize. Um, wow. Yes, absolutely. This is judgment. The judgment card. You guys have been maybe a little hard on yourselves for going through these hard and more difficult times, but guess what? There's a new beginning. There's a bright future ahead of you compared to what you've gone through. There's so much hope, so much potential, so much potency in the energy coming in for you to create whatever the F you want. 
You don't have to stay stuck in this more victim, heartbreak, grief, sadness, loss energy. It's okay to feel any and all of those things at any given time. It's okay. And I actually welcome you to feel those emotions if they are coming up for you. It's just that we don't want to get stuck in those emotions and claim them as an identity. And you guys are, are releasing. <laughs> Yuck. No, don't say that word, Amanda. Re means again. Lease means sign a contract. We don't want to sign another contract on the things we're trying to let go of. So instead of saying release, we're going to say let go or transmute. And I think transmute is a perfect word here. You are letting go of what's no longer serving you. You're letting go of this victimhood mentality or feeling like life is happening to you rather than for you. All these problems, all these issues, all these people. I like to call problems, obstacles, and issues. I like to call them opportunities for growth. That might have been something you've heard here on my channel before. Reframing your mindset from, oh, woe is me. This is happening to me again. How could this be? I've done everything right. I work so hard. That just doubles down our victim mentality. And I'm not trying to call you guys out, so please don't feel, don't feel attacked. I'm really not trying to call you guys out. Your guides are very loving, but they're ready. They are ready to see you shine. They are ready to see you level up and remember who you are on a soul level. They are so here for it. And they're really proud of most of you that have really done a lot of inner work, shadow work, healing, overcoming addiction, overcoming trauma, overcoming bad habits. They are so freaking proud of you. And I'm proud of you. Me, Amanda, I'm proud of you as well. Those who still haven't been able to take that leap and get out of this rut energy, I'm still preemptively proud of you for what you are doing. And the fact that you know, just, just acknowledging, I want to get out of this. I don't want to be this way forever. I don't want to feel like this forever. That is like step one, two, three, four, five, step one through 500. That is most of the work is just acknowledging. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to feel this way anymore. And then starting to move through it, move beyond it. And black tourmaline could really help you with that. If, if you're looking for a crystal that'll benefit you through any kind of hardships, transitional times, sadness, grief, loss, just wanting a better life for yourself, black tourmaline can really aid you and ground you and shield you from things that could be trying to knock you down or keep you low vibrational. And one of the biggest things that's trying to do this for all of us is basically just that 3D inorganic matrix, meaning it's not the original blueprint of the planet. And what's coming online for many of us, or we're, you know, picking ourselves out of that 3D matrix and plugging back into the organic 5D matrix that is natural to this planet. So you can literally envision yourself unplugging from the 3D matrix and plugging right into the organic 5D construct that this planet was originally created as. You're literally shifting your whole reality Shifting timelines, that's another thing with the Seven of Cups, is being able to shift timelines. So you guys are moving out of it. That's what's next, is you're moving out of this darker, denser energy and moving into something much more spiritual, much more supportive for your, your soul's natural blue, blueprint, your he, natural human blueprint. Yes. <laughs> healing. Talk about healing. Okay, sorry, I'll shut up. This is powerful. You guys are healing. And what's next is you're healing so much that you're moving out of this energy. And healing is going to start to feel fun and exciting to you. It's not going to be this burden of, well, I got to release more trauma. Well, let go of more trauma. I got to keep going through this dark night of the soul. You found your way out of it, but now you're excited about the healing journey. She's holding a green candle here. Maybe literally lighting. I got a green candle right here. I got a whole box of beautiful multicolored candles. Um, these are chime candles. Actually, let me grab the box. I just ordered these. These are Candle Charisma brand, 100 pack. It wasn't very expensive. I just ordered this on Amazon. It's all the different chime candle colors that you could imagine. Um, but lighting specifically a green candle to connect it with your heart space to, you know, I almost just, I'm going to light it for you right now. So for those of you that don't want homework to have to go buy anything or, you know, do anything, I'm going to actually trim the wick. No, I'm not. I'm going to see what it, where it goes, what it does. But we're just going to hold space for you and light this for you right now. And those of you that have a green candle and want to get a green candle and do this for yourself, please do. But let's go ahead and light her up and see what we get. All three piles have offered something different. I pulled a charm in pile two, 
Pile one was pretty, you know, what it was. It took a minute to get that flame going, but once it got going, it was excited. <laughs> so we're just gonna allow her to do her thing. I might even put her in here so we don't drip any wax on. I mean, not that there's not wax on here. I've got so many candle waxes drips on here from years, oh, four, almost four years of Pick a Card readings <laughs> since I created this. But yes, healing, and this candle is helping to heal. If you wanna pause right now and set an intention, for this candle and for your healing journey, for your abundance coming in. You know, green is also associated with money and abundance as well. Nature and bounty. So set any intention. Just You can quiet me up just by pushing pause and setting your intention. And we're just gonna let her burn. I'm gonna let her burn even if we finish before, which I'm guaranteeing we will. And then passion, this came out in group one, group two, group two as well. So there might be a couple of my group threes that have watched all three piles and you're just here for all the shenanigans and the amazingness and I, I love it. You're finding this deep passion for healing, not just healing yourself, but healing mother earth, healing animals, healing the planet, maybe even wanting to work as some sort of healer, a nurse, um, an energy healer, a quantum healer, a Reiki healer, acupuncturist, whatever, whatever it is, maybe even a mother. A mother is like the master healer. They kiss the boo-boo, they rub the owie, and everything just gets magically better. It's beautiful. I am going to move her over here just a bit. I don't want her out of sight, though. So maybe we'll move her down here. There. She's still there. Can we see her? I think so. Okay, let's get our rest of our cards going here. What else is coming in? But yeah, passion. You're passionate not just about healing, but just about life. You know, that rising from the dead of the traditional Rider Waite depiction of this card, the people rising out of their coffins as the angel blows the trumpet. You guys, it's like you're rising from the dead of this life, you know, because this is like a death energy of, you know, just heavy grief. The death of, of one former self of yours and the rebirth into this next self of yours. All right, what's next for group three? Guys, I'm like on pins and needles, ready to see and excited to see what's next. <laughs> well, we got two. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I just, you guys, wow. Everything we've been talking about. Pretty much every single thing that we talked about with this black tourmaline is represented here. And look at all the green. This actually came out in the green of yesterday. At the time I'm filming it, it's today's weekly message. So if you miss that, just go back to the daily dose messages and see. <laughs> um, yeah, he came out. This is the medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. What were we just talking about? Also protection guardian, drop your shields. So yes, we might feel during this time that we need to increase our shields. But like I said in group one, and remember I said some of you might be here from group one. Sometimes instead of putting all these shields up and you guys really would benefit from group one's information if you if you want to check it out but if you don't feel pulled don't worry about it I'll kind of paraphrase um instead of you know having all these shields up and using all your beautiful energy to keep blocking you know people from getting in and penetrating that beautiful energy of yours sometimes we even block spiritual and healing and higher vibrational energy by doing so so the best way that I have found and I again I talk about more in depth in group one is to just shine the freaking light. And that's what she's doing. She's lit this candle. She's got this light coming from her heart slash higher heart chakra area as well. All this green is representative of heart chakra, but we've got a lot of blue here as well, which is, you know, throat chakra. And then we have the earth guardian. Make sure we can see that, yeah, okay. We have the earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. This will help you stay grounded. Because a lot of times when we're, we're shifting timelines and we're ascending and awakening further, we, we can just struggle with staying grounded. So it's important, of course, to tune into those higher frequencies and, you know, be off in almost the ether just with our spiritual progress. But it's so important to ground that beautiful spiritual knowledge and energy into the, you know, the 5D organic matrix, not the 3D matrix. You're picking yourself right up on out of the 3D matrix as we speak. You've probably already done it, but you're working to untangle your energy from that 3D matrix and put it back to the organic blueprint this planet was made and destined to be. All right, let's get some animal medicine, all this medicine and healing talk. What spirit animal is working with group three? What also, what's next? What's next? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, this came out in, oh my goodness, group one. <laughs> And again, please, please go watch group one because I, at this point, mm, I don't want to repeat myself and just, yeah. But I see additional messages for you in group three with this card is it is time. Now's the time. Now's the time to heal. Now's the time to take action on any healing that you, you know, have left to do. But those of you that are just tired, worn out, worn down, just needing a break, needing a respite, please take that time first because you doing what's best for you in any given moment is what we are prescribing here medicinally and energetically speaking. Do what is best for you. Use your intuition. Listen to your body. Your body is the best like GPS into how you're really feeling. Life is a mystery, but you're uncovering so many mysteries within yourself and about the nature of reality itself. Literally quantum jumping timelines and ascending to higher vibrations is what you're doing. So you really are tuning more into the mysteries of life, the more esoteric knowledge, the more occult knowledge. And occult isn't a bad word. You know, we hear occult knowledge and we think, oh, that's satanic or something. No, occult just means hidden. It's hidden knowledge. It's a mystery. But when you ascend to like a frequency where you can tune into this occult or hidden knowledge, it becomes available to you. The wisdom is now yours. You're taking action. You guys, that's what's next is you're, you're coming out of this and you're taking action. So those of you that didn't get scared away when I said, maybe this isn't your pile and you're still here, put a cat emoji, any cat. It could be a big cat. It could be a house cat, whatever cat, put a cat emoji, just so I know that you guys were strong enough to hang on through this. I have major chills now. So you have so much spiritual support, you guys. Put a cat emoji if you're still here because you did not shy away from this reading, this healing that's coming, that's next for you. I did not anticipate these three piles, specifically yours, group three, because you're comprised of really all three piles rolled into one with a whole heaping dose of something completely extra. <laughs> I did not expect these to take such a spiritual turn. I'm thinking, oh, maybe there's some promotions or moving of house, which we kind of talked about in group one. But I mean, you guys, you blew this out of the park. You blew this right out of the water into the fifth dimension and beyond. <laughs> so thank you for sharing and contributing your wonderful, beautiful energy to this reading today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope this resonated. In addition to putting your little cat emoji below, please feel free to share any stories how this made you feel. If you're excited to feel that passion for your healing journey and healing this planet, let me know. Those of you specifically too that are already healers or you feel you have healing abilities, let's talk about it in the comments. Um, your your guys' likes and your comments really do help the engagement on my channel. And plus, I love to hear from you guys. So please don't be a shy, don't be a shy, <laughs> don't be afraid. Don't be shy. I love to hear from you. And thanks again so much for all those likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and the donations. I have not received any donations here on the new channel, and we are no longer monetized now that I've broken away from my other channel, The Dunk Creative. But I wanted to say thank you to those that have donated to The Dunk Creative and will donate here on Harmony Portal Tarot in the future. Um, my PayPal is linked in the description below, and I appreciate your donations so much. It's literally the only thing keeping this channel going, being not monetized. And I greatly appreciate you, but I never, ever expect any donations. In fact, go pay it forward to someone. If this message resonated with you and you don't want to donate, please just go pay it forward to someone. Smile at a stranger. Um, you know, share your love. Share your heart with someone. That's that's all I need. That, that would be, be a beautiful donation for me is just to go spread the love. I love you guys so much. And please feel free to join me back here for another hopefully very healing reading here on Harmony Portal Tarot. I love you, group three. Okay, bye.